Hi everybody! I'm Brandi Zuger and I would be lying if I wasn't going to tell you that I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm mostly excited. So I'm super pumped to be coming to you today, today to talk about posting and product versatility and how you can use that to like totally up, up, up your sales game. So I'm going to apologize in advance. I am totally battling a head cold right now. Hey ladies. Hey Ashley. Oh right. It's like so awesome to see the people you know jumping on. Um, so I'm battling a head cold so I apologize that I am a little bit stuffy right now but let me tell you our lipstick doesn't come off when you blow your nose and that is a post. People need to know about that. Totally people need to know about that. So I am going to dive right in you guys. I am not going to wait for people to hop on so as you jump on, um, do let me know though, if you are hopping on live, I would love you to put a one and where you're from. And if you're hopping on on the replay, put a two and where you're from. I just love seeing it. So fun watching everybody all over watch these videos. It's been crazy and they're amazing, right? Like I'm here on Friday, just going to try to do my best to be as amazing as everybody else that's been going live in this group. So we're going to dive in. You might notice I do not have my makeup done. I have my lips on because I'm not going to put my lips on for you today because you guys should hopefully feel pretty comfortable and confident in putting on your lips. But I am, I'm going to do my makeup with you guys today. And while we're talking through this, I'm basically going to talk through ideas and options and how you guys can bring value to your customers so you're just not another sales post, right? Like I think we all, when we start or if you're new or even if you've been in it for a while, there's always that fear of like, I don't want to be salesy, right? I don't want to be the sales girl. I don't want to be that girl. Um, so we don't want to be pushing, pushing, pushing our sales. Well, I want to talk to you about tips and tricks and techniques that you guys can use for like bringing the fun, like bringing value every day. So when you do slide in that sales post, girls are like, I trust her because this girl is bringing me all the goods. So we're going to talk about that and then I'm also going to do my makeup while we're doing that so you guys can hear just some of the different ways I talk about the products because in my experience I have noticed that you know there's a lot of us that are shy and timid to go live and talk about the products and we kind of get especially if you've been in this for a while we kind of forget that people don't all know how great everything we have is right like we talk about the lip sense a lot so people are really starting to understand oh my gosh the lip sense is amazing I get it I get it but all of our other products everything else there's a lot of people that they just don't know how great they are and and you it is your due diligence to get in front of people and show them right like it's so much easier to understand how great it is right we talk about that all the time like it's one thing to post like Girls, lip scent is smudge proof, budge proof, kiss proof in a graphic. It's another thing to meet somebody in person that you're drinking wine next to and say, girl, let's go to the bathroom. I'm going to put this on your lips and we're going to go drink some wine. And she's like, oh my gosh, when you read it, you don't quite understand it. When you see it, that's a whole new ball game. So I want to talk about ways that you can go live and share that. Before I go any farther though, I do want to share with you because I feel like this is going to be helpful to some of you. Um... If you haven't done a lot of live videos or if you're trying to like up your live video game, um, lighting is key, right? So I'm doing this video right now with a ring light um, and it's it's been pivotal. So I live in south, south, sorry, southeastern Washington. Um, so it's gray and foggy here right now, like super gray and foggy. Um, so when I started doing live videos, you guys, this is just like, it's like a $7 car mount. Like it's a suction cup. So you just take this and you suction cup it to um, a mirror or a window. And then it comes with a magnet that you put on the back of your phone. So literally if you're in a place that you have sunshine during the day, if you have that option, even if that's in your car, even if you're like, my house sucks for lighting, um, but maybe you've got good lighting in your car, you can take this out and maybe you can make fun with it. Like it could be something fun that you're like, all right, girls, the lighting in my house sucks. So bringing to you today, Brandy's car makeup routine. Like, and then that's a joke, right? Like, it's kind of funny. Like, who, I love, I love car karaoke, right? I love that. Like, it's so funny when, um, is it James Cameron? I'm trying, totally drawing a blank on his name. But like, make it fun, right? So if you, if you need a, like a handy tool so you can use both hands, so you can do videos, it's a suction car mount. It's super inexpensive. Um, and I will just tell you too, this is my Brandy's two cents on this whole thing. If you're new, you want
want to invest first, like the ring lights are great, right? Like the ring light has upped my game, but it hasn't necessarily changed my game, okay? So if if you are just starting out, don't feel like, mm, Brandy said I need a ring light, it's amazing, lighting is important. Go get you one of these and go somewhere, get in your car, get in your house, do do those things to get, get a Lumi on your phone. The Lumi cases are amazing too um, because lighting is important. I'm gonna show you actually when I turn off this ring light. Can you imagine if I was doing my live video and doing my makeup like this? Ain't nobody gonna get any good out of this look right now. So making sure and finding that you have a place with good light really is important. And then when you start selling products, spend all your money on product and then when you start moving that product and you start making that income, then put it on your wish list. That should be on your goal list. We just watched Lauren, right? And she was talking about goals. Put it on your goal list. Like that's something that you're working for is your next business move. As soon as you get to X dollars, you're gonna buy yourself a ring light. So, okay, two cents there. So, before I start doing my makeup, I wanna talk a little bit about posting versatility and added value. So, you might hear the phrase, and you might have heard it before, added value. When you're posting, you want to make sure your posts are added value, added value. Sometimes I think that can be a little difficult to like, okay, but what does that mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know what is going to be value to other people, right? Um, and that can be a little, a little bit overwhelming. I'm also going to say too, if you guys ask questions, I'm going to answer everything later because I will get so sidetracked like squirrel mind for sure. So please ask questions and I will answer all of them later. Um, so for added value, and I love, um, Angela did a video on um, relationship marketing, right? So she did a video on relationship marketing. If you haven't watched it, go watch her video on relationship marketing. I love it. That resonates with me so much. And really what I feel like I do with posting versatility is online relationship marketing, right? Like the key to this is, is that networking, is that meeting people, is talking with people. Well, if you're in a place, if you're a stay-at-home mom and you're like, I just am not going out with my four kids. Like, let's be honest. There is no benefit to me going out with my four kids. Like, no relationships other than, you know, people helping me carry out my groceries is going to be formed. You can still build relationships online. You're just going to have to sit back and get a little creative and, and start kind of putting yourself out of your sales lady shoes, out of your lip scent shoes, your scent shoes, and you need to start putting yourself in the shoes of your people, of your customers, of your tribe, of those people that are watching you. So the best place to start is with that immediate circle. Like the people you know, start there. That's a really easy way because you know those people, right? Like you, you have a pretty good idea of what those people like. For instance, um, I hail from Nebraska originally. Um, I love turquoise. We are rodeo. I come from a dairy farm. Um, Jesus, turquoise, fringe, bling, that is me. Therefore, that is a good chunk of my circle, of my tribe. So when I'm posting and when I wanna post added value, even in my customer page, even in my customer page on Facebook, a lot of my tribe's in there, right? So I wanna share good deals and information about products outside of just what we do, right? So different things like, um, you know, boots I love that might be on sale or different ways that I put outfit to get outfits together or things like that. You'd be surprised. You would be surprised the interest that that has for different people. Um, I also love like I love a healthy lifestyle. Therefore, a lot of my tribe does too. Um, and I think most people in general can kind of relate with wanting some greater level of health in their life. Um, so even sharing things like that, you guys, this morning... I'm drinking a coffee and it's called fat coffee. It is collagen peptide powder and um, coconut oil blended with coffee. You guys, probably a lot of you know about it. I learned about this when my friend posted it, right? And I was like, that's amazing. I'm gonna start drinking that. That's awesome, I'm gonna do that. Think that way and you can think that way on your customer page too. Your customers, just because they're in your Facebook page and they're there and you're selling products, you're showing them lip sense, you're showing them Senegens, you're showing all our amazing products, they're probably interested in other things too. And the more you can mix that up and include some added value posts, and like our, our product information posts are added value too, um, but anytime you can add something like, hey you guys, 
randomly somebody shared this amazing recipe with me and I love you girls too much to not let you know about it too right that's the kind of things that you're like ah, she's my friend she's not just my sales lady she's my friend she's hooking me up um, other ideas and you guys it can seem silly like I don't feel like I curl my hair any differently than a lot of people curl their hair um, but I had had a few people ask me how I do my hair so I did it I curled it and all of a sudden People that had never commented on my lip sense posts or liked my lip sense posts were sending me private messages with a picture of themselves and their hair curled. So you need to think too that there might be people there that are kind of lurking and think of different ways to get them interacting as well. Um, I have to give this one to Katie Enos. So Katie Enos shaved her face on Instagram with a little tinkle razor and I was like, I should do that for my customers. Like at that time, nobody knew I shaved my face. My husband didn't know I shaved my face. So I went in my customer group and I shaved my face for my, like I, sh I talked about shaving my face and it was so fun because again, it brought people out of the woodwork that maybe they were like, oh, I, you know, I don't want to comment on things. I'm not talking about the lip sense. Maybe I'm not interested in that. All of a sudden, everybody's got something to say about me shaving my face. Does it grow back darker? Oh my gosh. Like, are you going to get a beard? Like, what's it feel like? Oh my gosh. Do you, does that, you know, how's, what's all the difference? Like, everybody was really concerned that I was like going to grow a beard after I shaved my face. So be thinking again, take yourself out of what you want your customers to do, right? And I think this was one of the biggest things that helped me. It doesn't matter what I want my customers to do okay when I'm posting if I'm all I'm posting if all you're posting is posts about like holiday reds holiday reds here's 12 days of Christmas buy this this is on sale buy this and you're posting from a place that's like I'm posting because I want you to make an action I'm posting because I want you as a customer to make a sale get in touch with me ask me about my products if that is all that your posts are you need to take a step back and you need to put yourselves in their shoes like sit there and think like when I'm in Facebook what things add value to my feed like if if all your feed was just think of all the other even businesses it doesn't have to be direct sales businesses like think about your friends that say, sell real estate or that are like life insurance right like I have had life insurance people hound me before if you got on there and your friends were realtors and selling life insurance and all that it was was like be prepared, be prepared, the end is near, you're gonna die, you need some life insurance, or get a new home, you need a new home, your home's not good enough, get a new home. You would be so sick and tired of that, right? So you want to come from a different place to give them some added value. And here's the thing, girls, I guarantee you there are some of you out there that are like, I don't have anything like that. Like, I don't, I don't even know what I would share. Like, right, I, I stay home with kids, or, I haven't you know I don't I'm not very creative or I, like what do I do I guarantee you sit down with a notepad and I want you to do after you watch this I want you to do a 10 to 15 minute mind dump and all you're gonna do on that piece of paper is you are gonna write down things that you love and things that you're good at things that you love things that you're good at it doesn't don't overthink it it's literally like just I like uh, flowers I like um, turquoise I like cooking cupcakes whatever it is and then go through there and you're going to be able to look and be like oh other people might want to know that too that's surprising um, coffee for instance she posted about coffee and I loved it and you can share those things too if you have any questions about that let me know below but other things I've done um, for videos that have gotten really good interaction is just showing people how to roll my sleeves the J Crew way. You can search it, the J Crew way. Um, and the reason I even thought of that was my friend one day was like, oh, I just can't ever get my sleeves to roll up. And I was like, oh, let me show you. This is how I roll my sleeves. And she's like, oh, that is a game changer. Like, that is amazing. Those things, those things that seem like that, it seems so mon like obvious to me. I've been just rolling my sleeves that way. Like, why would I tell anyone about that, right? There's things in your life that are that way. There's things in your life that you're doing without even thinking twice about. Maybe you have the most amazing like bathtub cleaning home recipe you've ever seen, right? Maybe you tie your athletic shoes in a way that's like my feet, I never like, I can run for hours and my feet never get sore. Like you need to tie your shoes this way. Those, there's people that want to know those things. There's people that want to know those things. So share them, okay? That's the best advice I can give is share them. Um, so, okay, I'm going to start doing my makeup 
just so you guys can, we can talk through some product versatility of things. Again, when you're talking about the products, you, again, we, for, we forget, right? We kind of forget that there's a lot of stuff that we can talk about. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through like a full face, but I want you to think about breaking stuff down. You shouldn't be doing a bunch of 45 minute videos. Do something small where you just get on and you're like, girls, I gotta show you today how to mask the dark circles under your eyes. And you get on and you talk about our concealer, right? Or today, girls, I'm gonna show you three different ways to put on your blush. Think in bite-sized nuggets. Um, and even think of things like, hey girls, did you know that we have an air pump in our tube? So literally, like, if you use Clinique, you're not, you're, there's bits and pieces you're not getting out. Not with ours, you guys. Every single last drop, you are getting every penny's worth with our products. A lot of times, we just go to putting on our makeup and we forget this is added value. If there's something, like, do you know what I'm talking about with the Clinique foundation that comes in, does it still come in the square bottles? Or like the squeeze tube, you get like the, the CoverGirl or Maybelline in the squeeze tube. There is lost product in there that you just is wasted, right? You just aren't getting. Not with us. Like that could be a game changer for somebody. So today for my face, I always mix. I mix a pump of tinted moisturizer and a pump of foundation. Even just sharing with people and letting them know that you can mix our products is cool, right? Like you can throw in pearlizer in there. It's a great thing. Like if you have someone that um, goes and say they go and they get really tan in the summer and they get really light skinned in the winter, like don't worry girl, like our, our products color match three shades up or down. You're probably going to be just fine. Those are all the things that people need to know. And here's the other thing about it. People, You've heard it before, right? They need to hear things a couple times before it sinks in. There's gotta be a few of you out there that you've posted things before, like you've done a party and you said, <clears throat> to order, comment on the photo or private message me. And there's always someone that gets in there and says, how do I order, right? Like you've had that. So you have to remind yourself too that people need to hear things over and over again. So like when I talk about the foundations, I keep, telling people different things and there's gonna be people that watch and they're like oh my gosh I've heard that before there's gonna be somebody that's like oh, I never knew that even if you've done a whole week's worth of videos it just hits them at the right time right so don't don't if you feel like a broken record keep it up I'm, I'm here to tell you that the broken record method is going to be the game changer the winner you want to keep running that through so I like to tell people when I'm doing my makeup there's a couple different ways that you can put it on, right? Use your fingers, it's totally fine. A lot of people do use their fingers, but if you want the airbrush look, right? If you want like the flawless finish and really do our makeup justice, get yourself a stipple brush or a beauty blender. Um, I personally love a nice flat, dense stipple brush like this. And you guys, again, I talk through everything because you'd be surprised that you're just putting on your makeup and you go to the next thing and there's somebody going what did she do what did, what was that thing that she used like I've never done that I've never used a brush should I use a brush talk through it it will help them include links is even better every time you get off a video you like your own video you put links below you're helping boost your algorithm um, so I always just tell people like I I love a simple brush but beauty blenders will work just fine your fingers will work just fine this is just gonna give you a nice flawless finish um, so next after I do my foundation, I always love to do my concealer, right? And there's, there's so much to talk about with this too, right? We've got three different colors of amazing new concealers. Our new concealers are so super creamy and phenomenal, but I'll tell you what, I did not love the texture of our old concealers, right? I'm guessing there's a few of you that felt me on that too. So what I used to recommend to people and you guys, I still do like, because here's the thing. I am a TJ Maxx girl. I am a TJ Maxx girl. I will always be a TJ Maxx girl. I shamelessly, I shop at Goodwill sometimes too. I'm, I'm not even above that. Um, so I like to get bang for my buck because I want to look like I'm a Nordstrom's girl. Like I want to look like I'm a Nordstrom's girl, but I want to pay the TJ Maxx price. So if you have people that maybe they bought the tinted moisturizer and they're like, oh, I'm kind of interested in the concealer or the eye makeup. I'm not sure what to do. What works really well is if you do, candlelight alone is great. You know, 
Sandstone Pearl alone is great, but if you mix a half a pump of tinted moisturizer, and for me, Whisper Pink, I'm a cool tone, so Whisper Pink works better than Candlelight. If you're a warm tone, Candlelight's probably gonna work better for you. If you mix a, a half a pump of this with a little dab of this concealer, right? And then you're adding value to your customer because you're like, oh girl, if you can't decide, like if she's like, I just don't know what to do to start be like, okay, our concealer is amazing, right? It's like, I'm loving our new concealer and it's awesome. But since you already have the tinted moisturizer, let's get you hooked up with a Shadow Sense Trio because I'm gonna get you your base color. I use this as my base color, Whisper Pink. You're gonna get you your base color and you're gonna mix this with your tinted moisturizer and that's gonna be your under eye concealer. So let's get you an eyeshadow trio. Eyeshadow trio versus a concealer, win, win. So, and you're adding value, right? You're helping them, you're helping them like, showing them the versatility. So I'm actually gonna show you how I do this um, with Whisper Pink, um, because especially now that I'm like pasty white, this is really good. So all I do on the lid, and you would show your customers this too, like you could do a five minute video of, I'm gonna show you an eyeshadow hack, eyeshadow to concealer, watch this. And you're just going to like squeege, kind of roll and squeege that bad boy out just a little bit. Um, and then all you're gonna do is just take a little half pump on the lid, Voila, and then I'm going to take my stipple brush, and all I do is I just blend it right there on the top of my lid, okay? Um, and you can add, if it's too light, add a little more foundation, or tinted moisturizer. If it's too dark, add a little more. This is like, literally, and it's the nice creamy consistency, it's the nice creamy consistency that we love of our new concealers. Um, but this is just a way to add value to your girl. So all I do, dab it in there, and then under eye. I should do one eye at a time, because you guys aren't doing your concealer it's a it's a game changer to concealer um, other things to know about concealer you really want to do it in kind of a V V uh, under your eye rather than tight up under your eye it's gonna be kind of a V and that's really gonna brighten and highlight all the way under your eye so I just use my stipple brush then to just blend that out I take whatever extra I have and I just go down the middle of my face there perfect and like Ha, bright and shiny, hello. Um, I'm a mom of two small kids and my one kid loves to wake up at 4.30 in the morning. Concealer is life. So, added value, right? Product versatility, like don't worry girls, I got you covered, I'm gonna hook you up with our stuff. And then they're gonna trust you, right? They're like, oh, she's not just out to get me, like get my money, like she wants to hook me up with the stuff that I need. So after that, I like to put up my blush. Again, our blush is amazing. Toasted Rose right now in the fall is my life. I love it. Um, but did you know Pearlizer and Lip Sense makes blush, right? Did you know that? Um, if you haven't, it's amazing and you totally, totally need to try it. So what I'm going to do for that as well is literally, oh, there's someone, oh, hanging on my, um, sorry, just one second. I am going to give a lady a gloss. This is so embarrassing, but she just, showed up and I have to go give her a gloss. One moment, I promise I'll be back. So embarrassing I'm so sorry she said she was gonna be here an hour later and I'm like wait a second you're here already and now I'm out of breath but you gotta make the sale right you gotta make the sale okay we were talking about blush thank you thank you for having grace with me everybody you were all awesome uh, life is so fun anyways so I'm gonna show you how to do lip scents as well and you guys let me tell you again added value you need to play with your makeup if you're not playing with your makeup so here's the thing makeup is an art it's not a skill all right makeup is an art it's not a skill you don't have to be a professional don't don't misunderstand me you do not have to be a, pro a professional 
but you have to play with it, right? It's not science, it's not a skill, you can't read a book on it and then be like, I just read a book and now I'm gonna be awesome. You have to, with your very own hands, practice. You have to play and you have to be afraid that it doesn't have to be perfect, right? I wish I could show you guys pictures of me like pre pre -Senegents when I started Senegence and now. And I'm no Katie Enos, like Katie, if you're out there, you're killer girl, she's killer. I am no Katie Enos, <laughs> but I've improved significantly and it's been fun because my customers get to watch me improve and now they're like asking me for tips and I'm like, huh, who knew? I used to suck at this so bad. Um, so you need to play. So as I'm talking with you about this, you have to play with it. Don't just take my word for it. You go, you do it on yourself. And here's the thing too, don't be afraid to, afraid to play with colors. Coralina is the most amazing iridescent kind of peachy bright blush for the summer, right? I was almost going to put it on today and I'm like, I got to go out in public later and it's just like the wrong color for what I'm wearing right now. But it's amazing. So your plums, she's apples, do it. Salmon also makes an awesome blush. Do, just do it. Just try it. Trust me. It's awesome. So play though, right? Like I didn't know that. Like the first time I put salmon on my cheeks, I was like, this could be funny. Thank God I'm staying home today. Um, but then I was like, oh yeah, this is really awesome. This is super cool. So same thing with the pearlizer for blush. I just put a little amount out and then same thing with the lip scents. I'm going to just roll and squish out some lip scents. Here's the thing with the pearlizer. The pearlizer is really going to tone down the color, so you're going to need a little more, a little more lip sense than you did like when you were doing your under eye concealer. So I am going to use, um, which my brushes need cleaned. Great time to talk about the br brush cleaner, you guys. Great time to talk about it is when you're doing your makeup and you're like, oh gosh, I need to clean my brushes. Did you know we have blush, brush cleaner? And if you're not cleaning your brushes, you should be. So what I like to do is I do them in two separate piles. That way I can just pull over a little bit of the pearlizer and go, oh, uh, nope, a little more pearlizer, right? So if you just start mixing them all together, it might be lighter than you want. So it's not gonna take very much pearlizer, honestly. Um, you could probably get away with a quarter of a pump. Um, so you're just gonna blend that around until it's like this iridescent sheen that you want it to be. I love a nice little angled brush. It's kind of like an angled fan brush blush brush is what I love and then you guys just again a little light dab and you're gonna just smile and on your little cheekbones you're gonna just blend that out I always tell everybody start with a light hand and you can always go back and do more um, the cool thing about this is is then you have this like bright like iridescent like I can't wait I'm about ready to go to Vegas for the national finals rodeo and I can't wait to just feel all glitzed and glammed with my like pearlescent little cheekbones and then right right if you're into the highlight you are gonna dig this so so stinking much um, and again that's just product versatility right and not that everybody's gonna do that there's a lot of people you're gonna tell them about that and they're gonna be like that's amazing and they're probably never gonna do it but it, it adds that versatility and it helps us justify it. Like how many of us as women have gone out and justified a purchase? Well, I don't really need that, but justification, 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 right? Like, oh, well, oh, I've talked myself into it. It's totally affordable, right? Like, oh, well, I've been eyeballing that pearlizer. And you know what? I can, I've already got the lip sense so I can use it as blush. So, well, justified $50, I have to have it, right? That's the kind of versatility and value that we want to add. We want to show people like it's cool. You need to play with it, right? Um, so the next thing I want to show you really quick is I contour. I like to contour. I do a real light contour, but I do it every single day. I do it every single day and I like it. And I think a lot of people think that they can't contour. Um, and that's what I tell my girls on my customer page all the time is like, my mom can contour. Everybody can contour. Everybody should. It just like brightens and like, perks you up and gives you some little cheekbones, especially if you feel like you have a round face, um, which I do. I have, if you guys could see me in person, everybody's always like, comp, like says I'm so tall in person or so much taller than they think. Um, I'm a tall lady. You can't tell that in videos, but I've got a tiny little round face. So to me, I kind of like to chisel out and lengthen my face just a little bit because it's like this, I always feel like I have a peanut head compared to my, the rest of my body. But anyways, 
that's another story. So all I do with, I've got this kind of dense contour brush. I just squeeze out a little bit of product and it doesn't take much. And I just run a line down the middle of my brush. Just a nice little line of product. And then all I do is right under, and you'll actually find, this is a tip that I learned that I thought was great. A lot of times they say, suck in and go down to this hole and they just like, there's like a, a race line, like a little racetrack. If you suck in and you head towards that line and then you just slightly curve up in your cheekbone, um, it's gonna look a lot more like cherub cheeks, right? Because otherwise you're just like, it's a little more natural if you get a little bit of that cherub cheek looks, personal preference. You do you, you do you boo, but whatever. Um, so I start at my earlobe and then I head towards that little suck hole for lack of a better word. And um, right, I'm glad you guys think I'm funny because oh Lord, I'm like <laughs> out of breath and totally all over the place. So I just do a little smile and then just a little rocking horse motion, like slight you guys, just slight, but just not fully down, right? Instead of this, I'm doing up a little bit. And then I do that on my other side. And then any leftover, I just take up. There's really usually not very much leftover to contour. <laughs> you girls sure know how to make a girl's Friday morning with all these like love hearts and laughing faces. Like this is, a, this is awesome. Okay, so we've done our face, right? Like that's all good to go. Uh, I'm gonna go forever long too. You guys can tell me to just apologize for going too long. So next thing we wanna talk about is our base and doing our eyes a little bit. So again, the thing is you just sold that girl on her under eye concealer. So when you're doing a video, when you're going live, you wanna show girls like, oh, hey, remember we use this for under eye concealer? This is gonna be the perfect base for your eyes. And then talk about why having a base for your eye makeup is great. Here's another thing. I didn't know all this when I started. I watched a lot of videos. Um, Katie Enos, again, she's phenomenal to watch and learn. Um, Jacqueline Hill, I think she's a riot if you've ever watched Jacqueline Hill um, videos. Um, Chantel's amazing. Watch other people, and they don't have to be Senegens people. Just get on and watch and search, search contour, search blush. Watch a bunch of different people. You're gonna learn a bunch of different techniques, and then you're gonna feel more comfortable speaking to it. Because like I said, I did not, I, don't, I still have a lot to learn, y'all. So setting a base is great, and people should set a base because it's gonna help every other color you apply from there really stand out and be nice and bright. So you want to encourage your people to set a nice base, especially if they've got thin lids. As we age, our lid, lids thin a little bit. You want to have a nice bright base. So I just take a nice round little dense um, shadow brush and I do a couple swipes on my lid. You can put it on top of a tube. You can put it on a palette. You can dab your brush, right? You see a lot of people open it up and they dab their brush on there. You can do so many different options and again, this is where the play comes in, right? Like you're gonna play and you're gonna find something that works best for you. This is just what happens to be what works best for me. And when I'm setting my base, I just go all over my lid and I like to really blend it up and out. I take it down into my corner a little bit. Again, this is just a nice light base. I don't really want this to be a lot of color. I kinda just want it to be bright and neutralized. All right, and again, if you guys are asking questions, I'm gonna go through all of these later and answer them later because I feel like right now is, uh, I'll get too off topic. So I'm looking at myself right now. It's a little too light for me. I always tell people, use your fingers as an eraser. So if I feel like I got a little too much product on there, your fingers make a really great eraser. I don't necessarily recommend your fingers to apply eyeshadow again. You can totally do it. That's fine, um, but they make an even better eraser. So right, this looks a little bit more natural to get started with. So from there, we're just gonna do a simple a simple look, because that's what most people are looking for, right? They just want the basics. You can talk about when you're doing your videos, you can talk about certain colors you should be using for certain eye colors, um, different looks. I just recommend start talking, right? Start going live, set it as one of your goals to get on, do a video, and start talking. They're gonna seem a little uncomfortable, they're going to get better. Heck, you might even have to go meet the UPS man or a lady that's coming to pick up color and then come back 
Um, I heard a girl talking about one of her best videos was one where she had to leave and like literally like tend to her crying baby and she's like yelling at the kids like you need to be quiet I'm doing a video right now and she comes back and she was in this party and it was like everybody loved it and everybody bought it's real life it's okay to do real life um so moving on I'm gonna do mocha java I'm doing a simple simple eye look today I like to put this right in the crease and again a little bit goes a long way you can also dab straight from your brush but just a few small dots right on your crease and this is what works good for me if you have hooded eyes that's gonna be a little different but again you can watch videos on hooded eyes and you can do a video on that my one of my BFFs and she also just happens to be a Santa sister Angie O'Brien which Angie if you're out there hey girl hey um, she she has hooded eyes and she started doing videos and she was like really nervous about like I just don't think I do my makeup very well and I'm really nervous about doing a video and so she was like all right I'm just doing it I'm just doing it people loved it and so many people were like oh my gosh I have hooded eyes too thank you so much thank you so much again get out of get out of your shoes get out of your comfort zone step back from the things that make you nervous or maybe make you insecure and put yourself in their shoes because you don't know who's on the other end of that so just blending that out with a small round brush and again start with a little and you can always add more from there and then honestly all I'm gonna do today is take a little bit of mocha java to just kind of work out my outer crease I also need to tell you girls a story about so in my page I did a foundation try before you buy so I did it for a week long I did I posted like hey girls this week this week only you can do a foundation try before you buy so that's like a tinted moisturizer any foundation color and pearlizer let me know I'm gonna ship you a brand new full-size tube brand new full-size tube you can try it I want you to try it for two weeks I don't even I can't even return it before I do it because I want you to try it for two weeks um, and then I'm gonna get you all your information and if you don't like it send it back I tell you what talking about again product versatility putting ourselves in the shoes of others I had 16 girls do the try before you buy and literally two of them like just a handful had purchased lip scents like they were all these girls coming out of the woodwork no interest in lip scents from me had never hardly commented did not want to buy lip scents had not bought lip scents they bought foundation and literally all but two loved it and kept it um, which that was like it was an eye-opener for me to realize like oh shoot like although lip sense is our Wow product we've got a lot of other stuff that there's just some people out there they just they just are gonna love the other stuff they're not gonna love they're not gonna need um, the lip sense and maybe maybe they'll come around right maybe they'll come around there's a lot of people that start with lip sense and then go into everything else do it the other way around right like you start with the foundation and these girls are now asking me about the skincare because they're like wow the foundation is so amazing I can only imagine what it's gonna be like if I wash my face and like take care of it that way right um, so again add value but I will tell you I think it's very important to like step up to the plate and offer the full size tube because we do have money back guarantee right like lean on that money back guarantee it's gonna seem scary get their card information because you don't want anybody being shady and like not contacting you and leaving you high and dry with their new foundation and you don't have any money to take from them. get all their card information and then send it out to them. send them a brand new tube like I said I had to send it back that's fine I'm gonna well they're colors that I wear so I'm probably just gonna set them aside and instead of buying myself makeup I'm just gonna use those in the future um, but you can also you can send those back right you can send those back but I think that really shows and proves like I believe in my products like I'm not gonna send you a sample size I'm gonna send you the whole freaking full thing you're gonna use it for two weeks because you're gonna love it um, and they will they'll love it so I was not talking about what I was doing with my eyes but same thing I just put on a little mocha java I'm gonna do a little bit more because I want it a little bit deeper the cool thing about our products is even if you're just using the same color if you want to build and have a darker color give it a few minutes to set and build some more on top and it's going to darken up I use um, kind of a nice full fluffy brush it's got a little bit of a rounded tip this one and hang on let me get the other one. Oh, this guy he's kind of an angled guy but they're both like full fluffy brushes um, TJ Maxx y'all TJ Maxx I told you I'm a TJ Maxx girl so all I'm doing is I'm going from my outer lash and I'm going up to my brow and then kind of turning it over and in 
to create a crease. The big thing you want to do for yourself um, and then teach other people to do is not go down below. There's like an imaginary line from your lashes to your eyebrow. You want to stay within that. Lay down a piece of tape if you need to lay down a piece of tape. But you want to stay within that because that's when your eyes are going to look really droopy. And if you're like me and you have kids that wake you up at 4.30 in the morning, you want your eyes to be up here, right? So, and then I just blend that out and up and in. Super simple. With time, you guys, I'm not going to go into any further detail of a dramatic look. But play with everything. Don't be afraid to do something that you maybe don't know how to do in front of people, right? Because they value that too. That also gives value to them of like, oh, thank God, I don't have to be a glamour queen to do my makeup, right? I have my kids interrupt me all the time. Um, I have done things before that I'm like, I will not do that again. And I did that in public. But play with it and, and be real. Have fun with it. You can practice on yourself once and still be like, okay, at least I know what I'm doing. It's maybe not perfect. Um, I keep telling myself I'm going to get brave and I'm going to do a winged liner on camera. I suck at wing liner, you guys. I do not do wing liner, but I'm like, I'm going to try it, right? And I'm going to get on there and I'm going to be genuine. I'm going to say, hey, girls, bringing you some wing liner today. If you have tips for me, share them below. But here's what I'm doing. Here's what I think I should do. How does it look? What do you think? Let's keep practicing. You too. You too can do these things. Um, so from there, I'm going to do my eyeliner. And we've got, you guys, like we've got so many different great products for this too, right? I generally lean towards, because I'm not a precision girl, um, I'm kind of fast and furious and uh, messy. <laughs> so I love, I love, love, love our shadow scents. I wear Garnet all the time, Smoked Topaz, Caribbean. I have blue eyes, so if you have blue-eyed customers, you need to be recommending to them our blue shadow scents because it's gorgeous as a liner, right? So also our new like Starry Skies, our new Ocean, all of those are absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna show you today how I do this with an angle brush. You can do it. There's a lot of girls that are super talented that they just literally wipe this off and in a hustle, you can just brush that on there. So let people know that too, right? There's a lot of people that would not think, oh, I can just use the one. Oh, I'm on the way to a graduation because we're running late. I can just in the car when we get there, do a quick run over my lash line and bam, I've got math, or I, uh, eyeliner on. So I just take a nice little angled brush and I just get some product right there off of that wand. And then all I do, I pull my eye because I ain't no pro, you guys. I'm just like everybody else. I'm pretty, pretty darn boring. Um, I start on the outer corner of my eye and I just get the most product there because that's where I want the most product to be. And I just kind of comb that brush basically right through my lash line. I like it really tight in my lash line. Then I go and I flip it over. So I was going this way with the angle. So I was going deep, deep. I flip it over now that there's a little less product. And I just get that down into my lash line and then go back over to just smooth it out. And I do like a baby wing, like a little dip, just a baby wing. That's all. That's all I need. So super super simple but you'd be surprised again people that maybe just need to talk through that right like maybe they're wearing eyeliner but there was something in what you said that like changed the game for them you would be surprised what makes a difference to people so again same thing on this other line I start with all the product on the outside and just brush that right through and then flip it over and a little bit lighter and go back and just baby wing right on the outside. So for me, for my liner, I do not like a big, thick, full line. I actually stop. I stop my liner at the inside of my pupil. So again, that's another little friendly tip. You can literally take a picture of yourself doing this and be like, hey, you want like really fresh, bright, natural looking eyeliner? Stop it right here, right? Super fun. Versatility. You're adding, you're, you're not, you're selling, right? You're selling. You want to tell people like our stuff is good. But here's how to use it. Here's what's great about that. People appreciate that. Um, and then I also just, on my lower lash line, I just kind of, what's ever left over, I don't really dip back under my brush. I just, again, brush that through my lash line on the bottom and give myself a little bit of a look. Yay! We got the makeup done, right? Okay, so brows is the last thing, and then I'm going to put on mascara, and then I promise I'm going to get off of here. I was going to be really fast, and here I still am. So, brows, I did not 
I did not know that these things were important. I did not know I've got my dad's eyebrows and they are like coarse grandpa eyebrows. I didn't really know what I should be doing with them or how to do them. Turns out I'm not alone in this. There's a lot of us that do not know what to do with our brows, but I've learned, I've gotten better. I'm still no pro, but that's the thing, right? Again, we're, we're doing product versatility and we're sharing. So don't feel like you have to be a pro at your eyebrows to start talking about your eyebrows. So I'm a child of the 90s. We love to wax and I am like totally envious of everyone that has beautiful full eyebrows that did not let their small town hairstylist totally just wax the crap out of them. So I have a lot of filling in to do. You can see right now, like these suckers are, they are not even. Our, I love our brow scents. If you haven't tried our brow scents, go put it in your cart, go get it. We've got lots of different colors. I, for the longest time, was using the color Auburn because although I have blonde hair, I've got darker eyebrows and they almost do kind of have like a red tint to them. Surprisingly, Auburn did work on me. It worked on me because once I brushed it in and once I combed it through, it really looked natural. So know that too, again, play, you guys, play. If you're not playing, get the products for yourself and play because you will add value to your customers that they will start to trust you and buy things from you. So you have to play. Um, but lately I've been using, my son took the sticker off, this is light. I love light. It's actually quite a bit lighter than my natural brow, but it really works because for me, my eyebrows are already dark. What I'm really just doing is kind of filling in and I need the most work right in between my brows. So light, I like better. Um, but again, until you play with that, you won't know that either, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I do my brows. So I first start just by combing them gently up and out. And then you can do this with shadow scents too, you guys. Play with both, play with both. I used to use shadow scents, um, especially when brow scents was out of stock there for a while. Um, so you can do it with both and talk to people about what they like, right? Because if they have really like nice structured brows already, they might just want to just brush through a little shadow sense. They don't need to like build a brow like I do. <laughs> they just need to give a little more color, right? They just need to give a little more definition. If you need to build a brow, I recommend the brow sense. It's a great little tiny brush. And all you're really going to do is you're going to take in where those brows should be and like mine for instance they say your brow should be right above where your tear duct is as we can see we're not quite meeting the finish line there so i'm just going to take in and i'm just going to do tiny little brush strokes to just fill in where there should be brow and then the cool thing is you guys what you should do is open that brush back up and then as you go if you kind of comb that out, you can actually kind of fix your mistakes. So comb, comb it in and you can brush it out to lighten it. Does that make sense um, if you do it quickly? So, and then I'm gonna start up, I like my art, like I wanna have an arch, I don't really even have an arch. So I kind of start along the top of my line and just, again, I'm just literally drawing where, where my eyebrows are are but just to add structure and you'll see when I'm done when we look at the other one that you're gonna be like oh wow that doesn't it's not a huge change but it's a very big difference okay now comes the tricky part the build a brow part so excuse me if we're getting up close and personal we're friends now right so you can see where there's like little tiny eyebrows trying to trying to make their way through I'm just ever so lightly going through there to build that in. And the nice thing about this I like is that it's really natural. Like I don't want anybody to come up to me and be like, oh gosh, where'd you get your brows drawn on at? Like I don't want people to notice that, right? So I need a little bit more right in here. Okay, excuse me as I peek to the side because I just need to make sure that I'm like looking in a real mirror here. Okay. So, can you see the difference, right? It's subtle, it's subtle, but it's structured. Yay. So I'm gonna do the other guy. Same thing, I'm just using this tiny little brush to just get into my brows. Are y'all gonna go use this? Those that aren't using it, are you like, oh no, 
she's convinced me I totally need this product. And that's what you want to do for your customers, right? Show them the value. Don't just tell them about it. Show them the value. Okay, girls. This one is wonky because it like comes in far at the bottom, but it's hacked off at the top. So it's like build a brow at the top there. Come on, girls. Someone once told me that your eyebrows should be um, siblings, but they don't have to be twins. So that helped that helped like ease the pressure right like okay it can be siblings they don't have to be twins it's gonna be fine <clears throat> alright so brows done last thing we're gonna do is mascara um, little tips too, like you might apply your mascara or maybe you blow dry your eyelashes up or maybe you curl them maybe you have something that you're doing that's really great tell your customers that don't don't expect them to know what they should be doing with their mascara right um, and I will tell you what I don't personally I don't personally love our mascara without under sense because um, I like a big full lash like I kind of want them to be like a little gaudy maybe just a little um, so I tell people right I'm honest with that like I'm trying to add value but my mom my mom loves it so that's what I share I'm like if you have watery eyes or allergies and you don't care to have big full full lashes you're gonna love our waterproof mascara. If you're like me and you want giant full lashes, you are gonna love our mascara with undersense. I always tell people when you start at the bottom, you should really like work like that comb through back and forth because that is what's going to get those lashes into that comb. So a lot of people are just like, okay, da da da. Tell them if they want fuller lashes, just comb that sucker through. I always want to look like I have a bigger like winged lash over here so I spend a lot of time building this bad boy out this way I have big eyeballs anyways and believe it or not I actually want to make them like I like making them bigger right like I like to accentuate my eyeballs so again just combing through really get that brush in there and let people know how to do that again if you have any cool tips or tricks geez share them below with me and then share them with your customers and building that lash on the bottom and then I just have brown I've been using brown forever it's honestly I can't tell the difference between brown and black um, so letting your folks know that too like does anybody know that like I want to know like if you if you shared some of this stuff like if you feel like there's a lot you have left to tell your customers drop a three below if you're like watching this and you're like whoa there's a lot that I was leaving off about what we have to offer Drop a three, because I was one of those people, right? Like, there was a lot that I just wasn't talking about, because I, I knew it. I watched the videos. I saw Dawn. I saw Katie. I saw all these people talking about all these products. And I'm like, oh, I know how to use it. It's foundation. Here you go. And I was sending it off. And I wasn't telling anybody what they should be doing with it, or how great it was, or how versatile it was. So now, now you know, hopefully, what to talk about. All right, ladies, that is the, the grand finale, the mascara. Like I said, I usually don't have my lip sense on when I start when I do this for my customer videos. Obviously, today I do. If you don't have your lip sense on, you want to talk to them about cleaning your lips, the foundation that gets on there, getting those clean, and then applying your lip sense. Um, but I hope, I hope this gave you a little bit of excitement and some ideas churning about what different things you can be posting again if your customer group if your customer page is just flooded with product graphics and product posts and what we have to sell I want to encourage you to get on there and start talking about some other things that are really great for me for my tribe my tribe loves like fashion tips they love deals you guys one day I bought a dress for eight dollars on Amazon blasted that out to everybody they loved it they loved it like if there's something and that can even be maybe it's cookware whatever whatever you're into you've likely got tribe that's into that too and then just being paying attention right like if I was into knitting cat sweaters like that was a passion of mine and I was posting that on my feet like oh you brandy was right I'm gonna talk about what I love and I'm gonna share my knit cat sweaters you might notice maybe some things aren't getting a lot of action back off of those and go to other things right go to the things that are gaining traction but try it all you're not gonna know until you try and I guarantee you you will be so surprised 
what people want to hear from you. Maybe what hair products you're using, how you curl your hair. Um, maybe you have a really great trick for like, I love all the cute little tennis shoes, but I hate how my socks stick out of them, but I hate not wearing socks. If you tell me a trick, I, I will love you forever. I'll be like, oh, I love that girl. She changed my life. That would change my life. So think outside the box. Now that you're done watching this, you're going to get off. You're going to do 10 to 15 minutes mind dump, right? We're going to do a mind dump of things you love, things you're good at, things that are like, oh, I've never really thought about that, but people would probably love that. What's a cool tip or trick? Things that I know. Um, if you can also tell me how to get the soap scum out of my front load washer, I would love that. And I guarantee you there's a lot of other women out there that are probably like me. So I hope you guys are fueled with some ideas. I hope I kept you on here in fun. I'm sorry I made you wait, but you guys are all phenomenal. Keep asking your questions and I will come back to them all later. Thank you for spending your time with me. Um, that was amazing. Before I go though, I also want you to share and post um, my Christmas question for you guys is what is your favorite holiday tradition? We've got small kids right now, um, so we're coming up with a lot of fun holiday traditions. Um, my personal favorite, my mom did this for us as we were kids. She mixed up and we'd mix with her glitter and oatmeal together and that was reindeer feed and we'd go out it was always snowy where I was in Nebraska so we'd mix up glitter and oatmeal as kids and then we'd go out and the night before Christmas we'd leave out the, the cookies for Santa and then we'd go pour out glitter and oatmeal in the snow for the reindeers and like one of my favorite memories. I cannot wait to do that with my kids this year. So include that below. Let me know who your crown princess is. What's your favorite tradition? Who your crown princess is? And then what if you get one of these? I love this thing. This is like a new recent favorite thing. I actually just got these some for some of my team members and they're so cute. And I'm actually going to monogram it for you. So whoever is selected as the winner, I'll be in touch with you and you get a little cute monogrammed leopard bag. Like it's really it's adorable. Like I want to take one of these. I kind of want to keep one for myself and take it on the plane when I fly out on Sunday, but I'm going to give it to you guys. So thank you again and we'll see you girls later. Bye.